that's a bit of fun. Joining surfcaster Greg Smale and his team for a surf casting show quite obviously. Now a number of you have been asking for a surf casting show so here it is off the coast of Whakatane and uh, Greg has caught kingfish recently, snapper and carboy and we're hopeful that we'll have the same sort of success today. So we'll just sit back here and wait for the man to do his thing. He, he promised the fish. See they always catch him. So wait and see. Old pilch today. Eh? A very popular little item for everybody. Indeed, what, yes. What are you doing? What, what's okay. different about this? The different way we do the baits here, Graham, it's quite simple. We've got a fish. This bait's too big oh, in one piece for us. Lad. Yes. So what we've got to do is we've got to make ourselves an imitation fish, but make it smaller. So we simply put the hook through the top, cut it on an angle, right in through the bottom, out through the bait, and back like that. Yeah. So we have our little swimming fish. Looks very good. Hook's always exposed. Well, so the bitey bit gets very good to you, mate. I want to know how it looks to the fish. Well, so wrap exactly. the little baby up. And yeah. And put a bit of cotton. cotton. Stretchy cotton. And we just bind it up. What does that do? That just holds the bait in place. We um, find that pilchards are very soft baits, of course, and they uh, tend to fall off pretty easily. So you can see these still being soft. No problem, just bind it up. Is there a rule of thumb? Just, just as, Any, many times as much as, as you like. As much as you like. Rascal. And there's a little morsel for catching a fish. Oh, okay, good one. I like your table too, mate. By the way. Yes, yeah, so I um, had a friend uh, had a friend in the Hawkes Bay uh, design one for 90 Mile Beach, and I thought I'd uh, expand on it. So I uh, bought one of these tops second hand. It had scratches on it, and it was second hand and half the price. Just got a bit of downpipe from the, the plumbing shop. And here we go, I got sick of just bending down to the ground and getting sand and everything. So I decided that it was easier to work at yeah. sort of about waist height. They're very, very easy to make. Cost you about $65, $70 to make it, but it saves you a lot of hassles. Oh, and of okay. course we've got holes in the front for putting all the traces in, all the bits and pieces, even the um, product sponsors' uh, holders, refreshment oh, holders. Oh, the old uh, Leon Rouge. The Leon Rouge, yes. that's it. Okay. Alrighty, so we better do some fishing, eh? And you're also the New Zealand casting champion, I believe. Yes, 98, 99 New Zealand long distance and accuracy casting champ. So, so, so what do you do? Do you line up with a whole lot of dudes on the beach or something? And, and no, no, no. It's a very professional type sport now. We um, do it on a court very similar to a javelin or a shot put. Uh, it's a triangular court and uh, the longest in the country, the records are about 211 metres which is a way short of world records, but... Yeah, well, um, what's the world record? The world record's 303 metres. Man. <laughs> so... 303 metres in a cast. In a cast. Now that's just sinker, all right? A four ounce sinker, 303 metres. In New Zealand, good casters cast around 180 to 200 metres. Um, there's a few of us that can cast over 200 metres, and with a bait, around 160, 170 metres is a good cast. Because we've got a strong northerly today, we'll probably be back, be back a bit, around 140, 150 metres. Oh, you poor old thing. Then well, why don't you biff one of these baits out so we can see how far you cast? Not a problem. Already making excuses, I know. <laughs> oh, today we'll be back about 140, 150 metres. It was only a little light puff. Yeah, it's probably another one of these stories that these fishermen make up. You know, today we're going to catch snapper and kingfish and cow. I'm going to cast 200 metres. Oh, yeah. So we've got to watch this. Casting is not about brute force, it is all about technique. Well it gets out there, there's no doubt about that. find is that we can build large schools of kawai coming along the beach and the kawai explode into the anchovies or the pilchards or the little herrings or whatever's on the beach. So they munch them all up, the snapper cruise in later and pick up all the tidbits from the bottom and that's when we get, so that's when we get our snapper. So what we try to do is have our baits on the bottom. You'll notice our traces are very very short. We use traces anything from 6 to 15 centimetres. 
So any longer than that, you tend to pick up the car wide because your bait's bouncing around on the bottom. Because uh, snapper are uh, bottom feeders and they tend to suck the bait, they mooch on up and they're just mooching along the bottom and they inhale the bait. And oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 oh. Excuse me, I just got a little bit excited. Something. Yes, we're in. Good boy. I love the timing. Fantastic. <laughs> Just, yeah, it's the first one. Get the little rascal in, I say. The Nicola, the world record holder. Hey? What did you get, Nicola? You talked to Graham. What, what, what was your world record fish? 3.530 kawai. Well done. Well done. Nice and smooth. Here's the leader coming up. And just take it back. Nice snapper. Nice snapper. And the OT. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Snapper. Snapper. Well done. So you can see. Nicely hooked in the mouth. Just take that off. He's around a oh, kilo, 1.2. So because we're here for the show today, and because we promote uh, active let him conservation, go. Let him we'll go. let him go. Eh? quite another day. The old burglar surf casters. Well done. There he goes. There he goes. Excellent value. And that's what it's all about, kids and fishing. Fishing with someone who knows their stuff is always enjoyable. If you are like me, then you get a lot of pleasure from just being on the beach. It is a bonus if you get to sharpen your skills, and the day's extra bonus, just on slack water, was a feed of snapper earmarked for the barbie. That was a good bite. Yes! Thump, thump of a snapper, right? He's got a thump thump. I'm very happy about that, laddie. I don't mind seeing a decent snapper for the barbie. So what you do, you use the waves to good effect. That is a snapper, correct. And that's a better fish. That's what we're after. That's a keepy. That's a keeper. Yeah, you get three or four of those, and we'd be very happy. What it's all about, isn't it? You guys must like sand with your fish or something. Is, is well, that no, part of the attraction? <laughs> yes, the sooner they concrete all the beaches, the better I'll be yeah. happy. 